And um, and so I'm like to dedicate the warm ups to them, and then I'll talk more about um, saying their names and how we can send some blessings out okay. to them. Um, that people who are really struggling with this horrible situation. So having said that, let's just take a moment and align ourselves. And let's, um, I just want to reiterate that um, to hold, I'm going to actually read some names now, just in case you hold some of them in your heart. So Anastasia, Sasha, Olga, Valentina, Daria, and Nadia. So uh, these are people that I'm, uh, friends of mine that are over there and struggling with the situation. So let's just start with our heaven and earth breathing see if we can radiate some positive energy out. Dipping down, taking a breath from the earth and sending it out. Reaching up to the heavens, sending it out. Now a containment breath. Beginning to turn from our heart point. And just inviting some key up from the earth and down from the sky. And letting it radiate out from our arms and fingertips. And then without any effort, just invite a little more to come through. Let it get a little stronger or a little brighter. Think of it as light, liquid. Where is it touching the walls? Okay, and let's stand in that for a moment. And now stretching our sides. And all the way around. And then let's stretch our low backs out, <clears throat> dropping in a shoulder. Other side. Okay. Let's make some circles with our hips. <clears throat> Both ways. And now our knees. Both ways. Stretching your backs, and if you're comfortable, squatting in front. And again. Okay, <clears throat> starting with the Ikkyo stretch. So 
Settling down, lengthening up, strong hips, opening our hearts. Other side. And softening around the stretch. Kodagaish. Another side. Make you and inside of the arms. Take them out, pull our heads, and then drop them three times, and again. In big circles with our arms. And our shoulders. And then working our core a little bit, our elbows. All right. So as we stand to make our triangle, let's remember to bring some blessings through to send out to these people who are struggling, particularly over there in the Ukraine and Russia area. <sighs> let's extend. Take a moment and just extend out, drawing from the earth and behind us. Nice, and let's go together and back. Together and back. Together and back. And as we do this, having a sense that our backs are open and we can invite Aiki spirit to flow through us, sending out positive key. If you have any friends or you know anyone over there, you can think of them and send good energy. And you can also just imagine you're sending it so that it completely covers the whole Eastern European area. And then invite it to get a little brighter, a little shinier. Arms hollow. Two more. Nice. And then let's just stand for a moment. See if we can sense ourselves as a conduit. All that key is flowing through us. And we're organizing it for blessings for people who are suffering. Nice. Let's do some two steps. And one. Two, one, two. As we turn, inviting the key up through our feet from the earth, down from the sky to the top of our heads. Thinking of the space around us is filled with positive key. And the space is moving us and it connects us to all things and all people. Fingertips alive with lights, moving with ease.
few more. Now let's just turn and stay for a moment and stand in it. See if you can sense the key flowing around you and through you. Nice, I'm gonna do the rowing and let's do the sword blade in the sense that we're really sending key out. And if you can, in your imagination, just think you're sending it to a particular area just because it has that focus, that laser-like focus. So inviting some key up from the earth, from the sky, from behind us, sword blades, take a few seconds and just charge up your sword blade so you have a sensation from the elbow to the little finger. All right, and let's reach down and take some key from the earth, open up a little bit and send it out and gather back and send it out. Imagine the point you're sending it to and then gather it back. Inviting through the bottoms of your feet, through the top of your head, from our backs. Something greater is moving us. So we're sending light, love out. Two more. Okay, let's reach up. Take some key from the heavens, bring it down, vibrating our heart point, concentrating into our heart point. Imagine it gets smaller and smaller until it opens out into the universe. And we're vibrating with the universe. Stop and feel it for a moment. Let the vibration continue. And let's do the other side. Sword of blades charge up and sending it out, gathering it back. Find the point you're sending it to. Sending love and light, gathering it back, sending it out, drawing from the earth. And the stars. Inviting Aiki spirit to flow through us from behind. Two more. Okay, one more time, let's reach up. Take some key from the sky, bring it down. Concentrating into our heart point. Imagining it gets smaller and smaller until it opens out into the universe. The universe is vibrating us. and stop and see if we can still sense the vibration continuing. Okay. So, um, my thought was this, and if you have any contributions, I um, have a loving kindness prayer that I adapted and then some Native American prayers too. And so what I thought I would do is uh, read one, read the names. And if you have any names you wanna add, if you know anyone over there, if you have any friends, um, and then we'll do some exercise, some movements that uh, just represent sending that particular prayer out. So uh, any that time you wanna add a name or a prayer or a thought, um, please do. Um, I think that would, be juicy, but I'm going to start with um, the adaption of loving kindness prayer. Um, first of all, the, the gesture that I would like to do is one uh, where we just uh, reach down, we extend our fingers, I'll tell you that first, reach down, and then what we're going to do is we're going to step forward and just send it out with our hands. 
just the same way when we would do um, basic blend or Taino Henko. But right now we're just gonna gather the energy from below and from behind us, step forward, and then just send it out um, with the prayer. If, if you wanna do that, and we'll talk about another gesture. So the prayer that I'd like to start with is, uh, may all beings be happy, may they know peace, may they feel loved, and may they be free from fear and anger. And I'm gonna just read some names again. And if you have any names to add, you can just say them. Anastasia, Sasha, Olga, Valentina, Daria, and Nadia. So one more time, I'll read the loving kindness prayer and then we'll just do that gesture. And anything else you wanna add or say, you can. May all beings be happy. May they know peace. May they feel loved and may they be free from fear and anger. So let's just stand for a moment, center ourselves, extend our, our fingers out, inviting some earth uh, energy, some energy behind us, some sky energy. And then when you're ready, you're just gonna step forward and make this gesture, sending the key out. Let's stand there for a few seconds. You don't have to do it with my timing. And I'm gonna do it again. So again, I prepare. Step forward. Send some key out. Blessings to these people. And I'm gonna do it again and then we'll just let us do our own timing for a bit. Let's do two more. Okay. So if anyone has any um, thoughts or ideas of um, another prayer or, or blessing you'd like to offer that we can do uh, or a movement that you'd like to do, I can keep coming up with them, but it's always nice if you all have a little input too in terms of a movement or a, a blessing. Thank you so much. So wonderful to um, be in action together in spirit. And um, what was coming up for me was an experience of like the web of life around the whole planet. <clears throat> and joining that and circulating, being a part of that um, like global energetic prayer so that's what came up strongly for me more than any words. It reminds me of a visualization years ago from Bob Thurman that we all have little lights in our hearts and there's lights all over the planet. And it's like a little glowing spider web that we're all connected with these lights. It's like when you see those pictures of the cities and their, the planet um, at night and their, their light. 
but in this case, it's just beings all over the world in spider web of beings. I love that, Michelle. It's beautiful. Is there a particular um, prayer or movement you'd like to associate with that? Well, very strong for me these days is mending the sacred hoop, which comes from Black Elk, his vision. And so for me, the, the mending of the sacred hoop, that, that we are in that activity of tending and repair. Mm. And the sacred hoop is for me sort of like, it's the wholeness that is always there. And, and, and that, that, that we can bring that forward with our attention and our activity. Nice. There, um, so, there's a, yes, do you have a particular line? I'm just, just mending the sacred hoop. Right. Um, Lovely. Yeah. And is there a particular gesture you'd like to do, or shall we oh. you know, shall I just come up with one? Or? Oh, sorry, David. Um, let's see. Yeah, I just bonked him in the nose. The only attack you can't defend against is the unintended attack. Well, um, I guess what I would like, um, Sensei, is that one that I shared with you that I do with the children, um, where, like at the end of class, where we're gathering the earth and the sky, and then we ripple. <laughs> so at the end, this, this rippling for me is that the waves, through the sacred hoop in all directions. And we're actively, you know, <laughs> both receiving and generating that activity. Nice, so is that, do you do it with, do you come up and do this and then ripple? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's bringing all that earth and sky and our own vertical core and then out into the world. Great, so, and, and what we're thinking is mending the sacred hoop and we're, uh, what I would invite us to do is imagine that our lights in our heart are connected to the lights of beings all over the planet. Yes. That yeah. sound right? Like a like yes. a spider web with the um, dew on it in the morning, everything shimmering. And I'd like to add also that that my um, what I call it what I speak with my affirmation in the morning is calling in the regenerative power of nature in mending the sacred hoop. That's great, because Osensei, of course, you know, felt nature, that's what he prayed to. He yes, Takemusu yeah. Aiki, for him, is the regenerative power of nature. Yes. So okay. to, to specify that, you know, that's all happening all the time. We're kind of remembering and joining and amplifying that, especially for the human world that is so challenged in joining that. Yes, lovely. All right, well, let's do a few. So my understanding is we're going to think of bending the sacred hoop and connecting the sort of um, spirit of nature and then radiating it out with the ripples. Yes. So let's just do that for a couple of minutes. So when you're ready, you're just gonna dip down, bring some up from the earth, reach up to the heavens and then ripple it out. And then on your own timing. Sending out the prayer of mending the sacred hoop. Everyone's light is connected. Do two more.
All right, let's just stand in that for a minute and just see if we can sense the vibrations of that. The ripples going out. Just enjoy the feeling of ripples flowing all over the planet. Lights in everyone's hearts lighting up, connecting like a web of sentient beings. Nice. Thank you, Michelle. That was lovely. Anyone else have anything you'd like to contribute, as they say, in South Africa? <laughs> Sensei, the I, I haven't watched too much about what's going on, and I don't really listen to the news at all. And but I did see a clip of uh, this little woman um, talking with the Russian soldiers that are trying to occupy Ukraine, and she was trying to one like find out like more of why they're there and like what their motivation is, and they didn't have an they didn't really have an idea. And you know they're they're kind of following orders, but she was trying to have a, like a seeking to understanding sort of vibe, and then she also had this strength with her because she gave a bunch of uh, sunflower seeds to the soldier and say, well, if you continue this though, these seeds are going to grow inside your dead corpse in the Ukraine, <laughs> right? And there's something about that that had like some fire and strength and that kind of thing. And, and the movement that I can think of that is the seeking to understanding would be just Tencon, right? It's such a, yeah. uh, such a lacking <laughs> thing in our world today where there's all this polarity and all these people with very strong opinions, but the, the capacity to really try to understand other people's motivations and, and is is such a powerful way to sort of navigate the world. Absolutely, Greg. That's really, I 100% support that insight. So the Tenkan movement of turning to see what the other person is, where they're coming from, or wondering where they're coming from. Yeah. So that's a good one. We can do that. Do you have any, is there any um, sort of, line or blessing that you want to come with it or should I pull one from the I think pull one yeah I can't think of any I mean that you know there's a the the, the strength the seeking to understand I can't think of any other so this is a line from a Sioux prayer by uh, the Sioux Indians fill us with the light give us the strength to understand and the eyes to see teach us to walk the soft earth as relatives to all that live. So I'll read it one more time because I think it's lovely. Fill us with light. Give us the strength to understand and the eyes to see. Teach us to walk the soft earth as relatives to all that live. To me, that kind of resonates with what you're saying about, you know, how can I understand? How can I see? How can I think of them as relatives rather than enemies? Lovely. So with that in mind, um, I, I don't know why I'm compelled to do this, but I'm compelled to read the names of my friends again to keep particularly their energies alive so that, that we can um, so that sort of send something to them. I, I feel like I, I sent this prayer to this one. She goes, I feel it. I feel every word. Thank you so much. I think they're so receptive. And I'm sure there's others. I know, I don't know if you know Craig Rice, but he's a dear friend, an Aikidoist, Kevin Choate's top guy. And um, he was married to a Ukrainian woman and he spent a couple of years in Ukraine. So whoever, I don't know, I can't remember his wife's name, but just to think that we have friends who have very good friends who are there or who have family there or relatives there. And, um, and it's a hard time for them. So Anastasia, Sasha, Olga, Valentina, Daria, and Nadia. So let's do the Ten Khan and I'll read the prayer one more time just so it can reverberate a little bit with us or some version of it. Fill us with light. 
Give us the strength to understand and the eyes to see. Teach us to walk the soft earth as relatives to all that live. So let's spend a few minutes and you know the 10 con, just imagine that um, someone's coming to grab our wrist. And as they come, we're in opposition, we're seeing different views. And then as we do the 10 con move, we're looking at it from their point of view and they're beside us. So we all know that one. Let's do that for a little while with the idea of sending some blessings to um, the world and to our friends and filling us with light. And we could understand and we want to see. Um, what the opposite view is. So let's take a few minutes and do that. And let's do two more. Okay. Thanks, Greg, for that. I was actually kind of uh, generally thinking about, um, well, I have friends in Russia who are very much against this and they're very afraid, they're afraid to protest and so on. But, but even the, the people who are perpetrating the war, it's like I started getting in touch with their sense of fear and loss. That, you know, I don't agree with the, the way they're doing it, but I think that there's a sense that they're losing what was once a great sort of empire and, and that's really a struggle for them. So I started to feel um, more compassion. It doesn't mean I agree, still the compassion is there. So thank you for that. Any other thoughts on that? Well, I, I love in that prayer the soft ground yeah nice. that we all walk this earth this we share this ground this earth it belongs to all of us to care for it and it's a unifying <laughs> yes very much i had a couple of thoughts from the oh, go, go ahead paul and then Kat, you're next, but you have to turn on your, um, turn off your mute. So Paul, what were you saying? Um, well, in that exercise, as I remember from classes coming in towards the center and then out. And so that, that, that center, that center of gravity is, we all have. And so it's kind of a univarying factor. And earlier when you're talking about the lights, I thought when we're aligned in that line of gravity, that line all meets at the center of the earth of every being on the planet. Nice. And so that yeah. sense of yeah. unity with that. 
For sure, very nice. Yeah, we're all connected through the gravitational, <laughs> the force. Thanks for that, Paul, that's nice. Kat, did you have a thought? You're still muted. Here it is. There it is. I have a feeling, I, 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 feel, I feel so good right now doing this. Mm. This feels wonderful. Just like, I, I feel soft. Huh. My being feels right now really soft and really a part of this, what, earth, <laughs> this world of the family of one. We are the family of one. And it's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but I, I'm kind of saying, here, take this. And I don't know what I'm even offering, but it's just like, take, take this, you know? Yeah. Take, receive, yes. Anyway, thank you, Wendy. This is, feels so good. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks for saying that. And um, yeah, it's, uh, somebody said that it feels good to feel like I'm doing something to be supportive instead of just sitting there being mm -hmm. the news and being upset. Um, this feels a little more proactive, of sending something out. Um, bring something and you know sensei's capacity for universal energy and connection um we know that we can be effective if we're, especially if we're clear and focused um we use our attention in that way it's very good any other thoughts elizabeth you're this is kind of your wheelhouse pit do you have any thoughts well, in, initially, I was a little lost in that, um, you, you know, it's, it's almost like you don't quite know in the offering if, if the day-to-day the -day things that I'm going through are even important in the moment. Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then it dawned on me that the life I'm living and where I am connected to and the things that are happening, like, you know, somebody who is, I know is going to pass tomorrow and some excitement about something else that I can bring all of that with me in the movement with the prayer that the people in Ukraine and Russia soon can get back to the fullness of their lives and in, in their way of choosing it. Um, so that all that I am and I have to offer with that, I pray that they soon make get back to that as well, because so much of that gets taken away in the fear of you know what's happening there right now. That's beautiful. Thank you for that perspective, because as you said, you know you're you you tend to be closer to you know with somebody who may pass tomorrow, and you're spending time with them and this that and the other. But you know, right, that it connects us to all things because we are so interconnected. And that's why I keep reading the names, just to make it for me more specific and visceral. I mean, to the, all the people there is good too, but it also helps to sort of feel more specific at the same time, like general and specific. Um, that gives, adds a little layer to me. Is there any movement that you, um, that comes to mind when you, uh, like that point of view that you just said about, you know, may all, they all be able to return to a life where they can have their choices. I think it's some of the same movements that we have done is the, is the gathering and gathering through our hearts than to the... Yep. You know. yep. So we, we, could, we could do that. We could do it just a little more. Maybe we could do this one where we're um, gathering, you know, this is the containment breath where we reach up get some key, pull it down, let it build for a few seconds, and then we could send it out. So may, maybe we could, rather than just run through us, we could sort of gather, let that intention build, and then send it out. And, and I want to say something about this exercise, because someone in the leadership embodiment, we do this exercise, was asking about it. And he said that he felt um, tense when he was doing it. And one of the things I wanted to point out to him is when we pull down, if you Think of using your lats, the muscles behind here as you pull down, your chest won't get as tight. So it's not like, uh, and this is tight. What we want to do, and I learned this from Paul, by the way, um, is we want to um, strengthen our abdomen. And the way we do that is firing two opposing sets of muscles. Like if you're going to pick up something heavy, you, what you're doing is you're pushing your belly out a little bit and pulling it in at the same time. 
you do that, then you have forming like a brace of muscles and that creates that strength. And then that's the container that we gather for a few seconds, the key, and then we could send it out. So just so that we're not in inadvertently tightening our chest when we do this, that if I think pulling down, it's more of those back muscles and then sort of strengthening that core for, I don't know, four or five seconds, letting it build and then sending it out. So let's, let's do a few of those. Okay, with the intention that- um, Sensei, Sensei, will you read the names again? Oh yes, I'd be happy to. Anastasia, Sasha, Olga, Valentina, Daria, and Nadia. And I'll just add my housemate is from Ukraine and her family is all there. Can you give us a name? Natalie, it's Natalie's family. Natalie's family. Thank you, Paul. All right, with the intention that they can return to our life of choice. So let's just, well, I'll start us off. We'll take a moment, reach up, gather some key from the sky, bring it down, let it build in our heart, and then offer it out. Reaching up, bringing it down, letting it build, and offering it out. I'll narrow it one more. Reaching up, pulling it down, letting it build, and offering it out. And now at your own pace. And let's do two more. It's nice. Thank you, Elizabeth. <clears throat> so um, I have another blessing. This is a Lakota prayer that I thought was really nice. Wakin Tonka, great mystery. Teach us how to trust our hearts our minds, our intuition, our inner knowing, the senses of our body and the blessings of our spirit. Teach us to have confidence in these things so that we may enter our sacred space and love beyond our fear. I love that. So we may enter our sacred space and love beyond our fear and thus walk in balance with the passing of each glorious sun. But the line, so that we may enter our sacred space and love beyond our fear. I think that is a good one. Because it really acknowledges that we have fear and that we can also love mm -hmm. at the same time. So, I thought we could just, um, we'll do a little bouquet in a minute, but we could do um, 
just a cut sending it out. And um, I was thinking we could just reach, reach out, take the, the key from around us, bring it up, and then just cut. So sending out a cut with one arm and then the other, just, it's like a showman strike. And the showman strike is just sending that energy out. Like before we do the showman strike, instead of just pulling up, we could reach out. And then really just invite some energy and then bring it up and show them a strike and send it out. And we can love beyond our fear. And therefore we can send blessings out into the world. Blessings to people who are suffering. Blessings to people all around the world. Blessings to people we know are struggling. Loving beyond our fear. Do two more. Okay. It's wonderful. The Aikido gestures feel like they're um, so empowering. You know, the idea of the showman cut, and we felt the power of it both from ourselves and others. So the idea is we can imbue that with some intention, with something positive. It's really great, I think. Any other thoughts before we do our, oh, well, Michelle's bringing something. You have paper in your hand. Um, this is a uh, O-sensei's oh words that I really cherish. Practice the way of the gods by continually by wielding the sacred sword. That's mm -hmm. what made me think of it <laughs> with us just doing the sword work. Practice the way of the gods continually by wielding the sacred sword. Use it to spread clarity, light, and the blessings of the kami. Beautiful, very nice, I love it. I love the idea of a sacred sword. I mean, to me, a sword is sacred. I mean, from a Japanese point of view, it certainly is in the, the tradition that represents the heart and soul. And, you know, for the samurai, they say, if you, if you have to take out your sword and use it, you failed. Mm. That was kind of their code. I mean, they would do it, but it was considered a failure to have to do that. Yeah, and instead what we're doing, we're using that sword to spread clarity, light, and, the, and blessings. Indeed. Yes, we are. Thank you for that. I find I've got just a huge jumble of emotions um, around the invasion, um, uh, feeling for the people who are suddenly without homes for hundreds of thousands of, of refugees in the space of a week. Yeah. Um, uh, the, uh, the families who, who left their um, family members behind to fight and the family members who are behind fighting uh, and have, have, don't know whether their, their kids are safe. Um, and and uh, also some 
happiness that the West is responding in the way it is. And at the same time, um, you know, like, oh, yay, Germany's sending a thousand anti tank missiles and 500 stingers, and that's more weapons of destruction. And um, yeah, you know, I just, it, I, I feel this big mix of uh, um, wanting uh, Russia to be pushed out and the cost of that on both yeah. sides. Well said, David. And yeah. the Arimi and the TenCon and the importance of both. Yeah, there's nothing good about war, nothing. Um, I brought, brought to mind the clip of Zelensky. It was in the very beginning of the week when this first happened and Russia media had said he, he, had, he, he fled. And he, it's a selfie and he's standing at night in the square with his, um, his cabinet. And he just goes, I am here. And then he says the name of the next, he is here. He just goes through like five or six and he goes, we are here. That was it. We are here. It was so like in this present moment, he wasn't saying we're here, we're great, we're gonna do this. He was just, we are here. It was, did you saw that, see that? Yeah. Amazing, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't need a ride. <laughs> yeah, it was so powerful. <laughs> yeah, and I don't need a ride, I need a gun. I thought that was funny too. Um, but just the statement, we are here, I am here. Mm -hmm. It was such a like, okay there is this it just felt like this is just a moment in time so i was appreciating that we are here i am here so let's um get our bouquins and we'll do some cuts and we'll let's we'll have to brainstorm a little bit about what we want to say with our cuts i think it'd be nice to do a unified um sentence So what's coming to mind is um, the basic loving kindness because it's really simple and we could all say it at the same time. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free is actually the, um, the traditional words. So if you're all okay with that, we could say that and then send it out. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free. From the Buddhist point of view, it means get off the wheel of life and death, but we can attribute freedom to whatever it is for us. So if you're good with that, let's all say that together as we do the exercise. So let's take our swords out, taking a moment, lining ourselves between heaven and earth, inviting IT spirit to flow through us with the intention of sending blessings out to our friends and to all people. Let's say it together, ready? May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, and may they be free, and send it out. The sacred sword will help us. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free, send it out. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free. Cut, cut again, in a key eye. Hi! Second round. Let's bring some from the sky, from the earth, from around us, sending it out. Blessings, ready and. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free. Send it out. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free. Send it out. May all beings be happy, may they be peaceful, may they be free. Cut, again. And a key eye. Hey! Imagine the blessings going out. People feeling it, receiving the blessings. Let's do one last round. Bring a little more from the sky, from the earth, from around us. Using the sacred sword to empower our blessings. May all beings be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free. Sending it out. May all beings be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free. Sending it out. May all beings be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free. Cutting again. Last ki. Hey! 
standing in it for a moment, sensing the power of the sacred sword, sending blessings out. In a sense, people are receiving the blessings, they're feeling it. Okay, let's put our book hands to the side and bow them out. And let's end with a little heaven and earth breathing as we generally do. So taking a moment to align ourselves and then drawing some from the earth, reaching up to the stars and radiating blessings out into the world. Do two more. Now let you stand in it for a moment. Sense the light flowing around us and through us. Sense the blessings going out, touching people. Imagine they're receiving it. Imagine there's a smile on their face, and for a moment they feel a little bit of peace. And then appreciating our friends and training partners, our community, our teachers and mentors, O Sensei's vision, and our own hearts. And let's bow out. Thank you all so much for joining and for your thoughts and ideas. And um, it feels good. It feels like there's some energy generated to make a positive contribution. And I encourage us all to sort of keep it up, even if it's for a sh short time each day, to really send some positive energy out. Okay. Um, I mean, we want to do the whole world, but also if we know specific areas of people are suffering, we can sort of imagine them. And I think it's important to imagine them receiving, feeling it. Like it was so nice for me to hear from Sasha when she said, I feel your prayer, every word. Mm. Like really, um, you know, felt like reciprocal. So that's another thing you could do. I mean, your friend, what, Emily, what, if you're a friend, Paul, your fa family's friend's family. Natalie is Natalie. lived in the house here and her family. Yeah, maybe you could just imagine that her family is actually receiving that too. That, I think that's a good thing. 